Hello friends, welcome to the channel DUDR Academy. In this video, I have included a topic from research that is research problem and a research question. So let me start the topic. First is research problem, the definition of research problem. So a research problem is an enigmatic or troubling area or topic which needs an inquiry to get better understanding or ultimate solution. So what do you mean by enigmatic? Enigmatic means something difficult to understand or mysterious. So here research problem is uh, something a troubling area or something difficult to understand or a topic which needs an inquiry to get better understanding or ultimate solution. Or we can say it is an interrogative statement that asks what relation exists between two or more variables. So the answer to this will provide what is having sought in the research. So this is the definition given by Kerlinger. It is an interrogative statement that asks what relation is existing between two or more variables. Again, uh, one more definition is there for res uh, research problem. It is an area of concern where there is a gap in the knowledge base needed for nursing practice. So it is an area of concern where there is a gap in the knowledge base that is needed, uh, which is important in the nursing practice. And so that gap has to be uh, identified and uh, through a research uh, problem and we have to go deep and inquire it and then we have to find a solution. So it is an area of concern where there is a gap in the knowledge base needed for a nursing practice. The next is research question, the definition of research question. Research question here we know the research begins when uh, one raises a research question. That means it is addressing a research problem. It is addressing a problem. So it is important uh, to identify, to, uh, to raise a research question in uh, doing a research. So the research question means the specific queries researchers want to answer in addressing the research problem. So these are the specific queries, research questions are specific queries the researchers want to address, uh, want to answer in addressing the research problem. So it guides the type of data to collect in a study. Then uh, we will see some of the, one of the example given here. So now we will see the example of research problem and a research question. That is uh, the research problem statement is a study to assess the relationship between dependency level of renal transplant recipients and their rate of recovery. So this is a research problem and the research question is what is the relationship between the dependency level of renal transplant recipients and their rate of recovery. So here the research problem it is just an interrogative statement a study to assess the relationship between dependency level of renal transplant recipients and their rate of recovery but for the research question it begins with a question statement that is what is the relationship between the dependency level of renal transplant recipients and their rate of recovery so this is the example then next we will discuss the identification of research problem so identification of a research problem is not an easy exercise. We have to carefully identify the research problem and the first and uh, most important step in research process is this identification of research problem. Okay, the first and most important step in research process is identification of the research problem. So first how we will identify it? First we will select a broad area. A broad area is selected. And then this broad area is delimited or narrowed down to a specific one. Okay, broad area is narrowed down to a specific, uh, specific one sentence statement of the problem. So this is the identification of this uh, research problem. That is first, first step in research process is this identification of research problem. And here we have to, first we will be getting a broad area of concept. And from that we have to delimit or we have to narrow down that to a specific uh, topic or specific area of concern or specific one sentence statement of the problem. N then we will discuss the sources of research problem. So research problem come from various sources. So let us discuss these sources of nursing research problem one by one. First is the personal experience that is the day to day personal experience of the researcher. For example, the researcher observed the domestic violence suffered by wives of alcoholic husbands. 
So from the day to day or the daily experience of the researcher, the researcher identified the domestic violence suffered by the wives of alcoholic husbands. So this may provide idea to identify the several research problems related to domestic violence against a woman. So that is first uh, important source is the personal experience of the researcher itself. The next is the clinical experience. The questions about patient care post during private conversations or staff meetings. So it can be the clinical experience means either by the observation of patient and nurse behaviors or uh, the patient care conferences then complaints and expressions of dissatisfactions from the patient and staff then it can be also from the chart reviews then nursing care plans then change of shift reports so just an example given here is the nurse observed application of ice at the site of heparin injection reduced the chances of ecchymosis so the nurse observed this uh, application of ice at the site of heparin injection and it uh, reduced the chance of ecchymosis. So this is a clinical experience. So the nurses are trying to go deep into this and to identify or uh, to do it as a research problem. So that is just an example. So these clinical experiences can be first it can be from the observation of the patient or the nurse behaviors. Uh, and also it can be from the patient care conferences or it can be some kind of complaints and expressions of dissatisfaction from the patients. So that is another one then by uh, reviewing the chart or through this nursing care plans or by uh, uh, reviewing this change of shift reports. So these are all some of these uh, examples for getting this clinical experiences which will help in uh, finding a research problem. So that is the second one. So personal experience we discussed and second is this clinical experience. Then now we move on to this nursing literature, the nursing uh, books. Uh, or the different journals or dissertations so that include this ideas for studies often come from reading the nursing literature like this nursing journals nursing journals articles clinical practice journals then abstracts then even the textbooks thesis and dissertations so all these are the different sources of nursing lit uh, nursing problem uh, by reading this nursing literature or textbooks then uh, reading other Research reports may suggest problem areas indirectly by stimulating the reader's imagination and directly by stating what additional research is needed. So again by reading uh, the other research reports also help in developing this imagination among the readers and so uh, they try to find out what additional what additional uh, something uh, additional research has to be done regarding that particular topic. So that is regarding this nursing literature. Then the next source is theories. The theories from this nursing and other related disciplines are good sources of research problem. That is the predictions made from theories are tested through research. So another important source is even the theories from nursing. Then next is this previous research. So ideas can be generated by research reports. If the previous researcher has done studies uh, with a small sample, the investiga investigator can do it on a large or heterogeneous sample. So, if the uh, by looking on this previous uh, researchers, that is by re reading this research reports and all, just we have discussed it now. That is, uh, if the previous researcher has done some studies uh, with a small group or even some with a homogeneous sample, then why can't this investigator do it on a larger sample or on a heterogeneous uh, sample? So, previous research is also a source of. Uh, research problem then comes this social issues social issues include all these uh, political and social issues uh, like uh, the hiv aids then female feticide then sexual harassment or domestic violence gender inequality all these are the examples of social issues which will arouse uh, as a research problem to help the uh, investigator to go deep into and identify this problem and uh, make the enquiry on it so that is the social or political issues of relevance to the healthcare community that include these examples hiv aids female feticide sexual harassment domestic violence gender inequality etc the next comes the interaction with peers and experts that is the formal educational experiences it can be either the formal educational experiences and it can also be with the staff development uh, programs 
and staff development education and orientation programs and also by this interaction through this uh, committee meetings that is this policy and procedure committee meetings then journal clubs mentor relationships then ideas from workshops and conferences and also informal discussions even the formal experiences and also the informal discussions with the uh, peer group and the experts will also help in um, developing or identifying the research problem then next is ideas from the external sources that is ideas from the external sources include the funding agencies or the organizations and associations research priorities what are some of the uh, organizations or associations will be there uh, and uh, that organizations and associations uh, research priorities example like icmr okay so this funding agencies and also uh, the research organizations and associations and their priorities may also be an idea for uh, developing or identifying the research problem the next comes the brainstorming brainstorming here it is given the intensified discussion within a group of interested persons may often be a means of identifying the pertinent questions and of developing new ideas about a problem so what is brainstorming actually brainstorming means to think about and uh, also try to come up with ideas or solutions to a problem either on your own or in a group so just thinking about and allowing the people to think more freely without fear of judgment that is uh, brainstorming so thinking about and uh, trying to give up uh, or come up with a uh, idea so it can be either it can be done by your own or it can be done in a group like a group discussion or in a workshop and all it helps to uh, come up with the ideas so that help to encourage the open and ongoing collaboration to solve the problem and thus it helps to generate the innovative ideas that is brainstorming so that helps the team to generate a large number of ideas quickly when we are doing this brainstorming it will helps to get large number of ideas so quickly so that is just to think freely and come up with uh, new ideas okay think freely and come up with new ideas it can be done either as uh, as an uh, your own you can do it, it uh, you can do it by your own or it can be done uh, within uh, within a group okay that is known as this brainstorming the next comes the intuition intuition means some new ideas may strike to one's mind like a flash some of the ideas may come to the mind like a flash so that idea can be taken up and uh, we can move ahead as a research problem that is intuition so we discussed what is brainstorming and what is intuition another one is folklore folklore means some of the common beliefs common beliefs uh, in the community or in the society can be considered as the folklore so common beliefs can be either right or wrong it can be either right or wrong so we can uh, uh, identify that as also a research problem and we can uh, go deep and enquire it so we can just give an example it is generally believed that studying just before the test decrease the score so it is a belief that the studying just before the examination or the test decrease the score so we we believe we should not study just before the test that helps to relax the mind so researcher can conduct a study on whether one should study before the test or not that is folklore so just uh, studying before the examination may decrease the score is one of the belief so researcher can uh, conduct a study whether one should study uh, before the test or not so that is folklore so these are all the different sources these are all the different sources of research problem which we discussed the personal experiences and it can also be the clinical experience then the nursing literature theories then previous research then social issues interactions with uh, peers and the experts then ideas from the external sources brainstorming intuition and folklore so these are all uh, about the research problem and the sources of research problem and also we discussed the research question hope you liked this topic and you understand this topic so i will come up with the next topic uh, in research uh, in the next video so thank you